Hello everyone and welcome to class of 5G identifiers by Telcoma Technologies. Each subscriber in the 5G system shall be allocated one 5G subscription permanent identifier. We call it as SUPI. This identifier is used within the 3GPP system. So the 5G system supports identification of subscriptions independently of the user equipment. Each user equipment accessing the 5G system shall be assigned a permanent equipment identifier PEI. The 5G system supports allocation of temporary identifier 5G GUTI in order to support user confidentiality. Now, the first number is subscription permanent number. This is a globally unique 5G subscription permanent identifier SUPI which shall be allocated to each subscriber in the 5G system and provisioned in UDM UDR. The SUPI is used, is used only inside 3GPP system. It may contain an IMSI number a network specific identifier which is used for private network. A SUPI containing a network specific identifier shall take the form of network access identifier NAI. So whenever the UE needs to indicate its SUPI to the network, the UE provides the SUPI in concealed form. Subscription concealed identifier SUCI is a privacy preserving identifier which contains the concealed SUPI. Next is permanent equipment. This is identifier. A PEI is defined for the 3GPP user equipment accessing the 5G system. The PEI can assume different formats for different user equipment types and use cases. The UE shall present the PEI to the network together with the identification of PEI format being used. If the user equipment supports at least one 3GPP access technology, the UE must be allocated a PEI in IMEI format. Next is 5G globally unique temporary identity or identifier. The EMF shall Allocate a 5G GUTI to the user equipment that is common to both 3GPP and non-3GPP access. It shall be possible to use the same GUTI for accessing the 3GPP access and non-3GPP access security context within the EMF for the given UE. The EMF can reassign a new 5G GUTI to the user equipment at any time. EMF name. An EMF is identified by its name. EMF name is globally unique FQDN. The structure of EMF name as FQDN. DNN as data network name. A DNN is equivalent to APN. DNN is used whenever we require to select a SMF or UPF for PDO session. There is a requirement to select N6 interface for the PDU session. We require to determine policies so that we can apply to the PDU session. Internal group identifier. The subscription data for the UE in the UDR may associate the subscriber with groups. A group is identified by internal group identifier. A UE can belong to a limited number of groups. We have a support of groups in a defined in non-roaming cases also. The internal group identifier corresponding to a UE are provided by the UDM to the SMF as part session management subscription data. Next is generic public subscription identifier. GPSI is needed for addressing a 3GPP subscription in different data networks outside the 3GPP system. The 3GPP system stores within the subscription data the association between GPSI and corresponding SUPI. GPSI are public identifier which are used both inside and outside the 3GPP system. 
it is either an MSISDN or an external identifier. Next is AMFU NGAP ID. NGAP as next generation application protocol identifier, AMF access and mobility function. And AMF UE NGAP ID is an identifier which is used to identify the UE in AMF or N2 reference point. AMF allocates the AMF ID and sends it to the 5G access network. So these are all the identifiers in 5G. Thank you.